multiverse. I thought, well, I have the Spanish Portuguese port, uh, background up. I'll show you another jersey. And yes, I'm going to go now in on Portugal for the simple reason I don't have that many jerseys uh, from Portugal. And they also deserve a little bit. And I have decided to show you this jersey, my only FC Porto jersey for now, from the 12-13 season. Kind of in recognition that Porto are, of course, uh, the new Portuguese champions having won a 30th title. Now, uh, this was also a title winning jersey from, as I said, in the 12th, 13th season. They also won uh, a title. And funnily enough, when I started my blog, this is the first Porto jersey that I ever reviewed. And I never thought I would get this one. Now, uh, before I go deeper in, in this jersey, I'm of course wearing Barcelona and uh, not um, there's a thought behind it because for me, Porto and Barcelona are very similar teams. They are not from the capital, but they're pretty darn successful. And also, uh, they have, and this is where this jersey a little bit falls short in me, I think the best jerseys for each um, club have this kind of striping. So uh, if you would replace the red with white, I think this would be a really, really nice Porto jersey. Now this one, yes, it has, doesn't really have it. It's more or less an Ajax look except for the sleeve. So I mean, there is the striping there. And that's more or less uh, the one thing that I, I'm, I, it, it's not that I do not like it, but you know, it could be a little bit better about this jersey, but um, I got this towards the end of, no, towards the beginning of last year, so 21, when I really wanted to kick my collection into the next gear, you know, getting as many teams from other leagues. And FC Porto is definitely one that I need, need to get. And the only thing that I could get find for a reasonable price was this one. And I've, it, it was sitting there for a while. And then I saw that the seller was se selling also three other shirts that I was really interested in. And I said, okay, let's make a package deal and I'll get this FC Porto shirt. Now, um, as I said, I'm not uh, too fond of it, but I have to say I, I start liking it. it um, it has the really thick sleeve cuffs that were uh, uh, typically of Nike at the time. Um, I guess that the sleeves are in white actually saves it a little bit. It gives it a little bit more of a Porto look, but of course I would prefer it if the blue would go a little bit in and we have all the wool would have your white so that there's a bit more striping. But I absolutely love the rather minuscule sponsor here. Of course, the Porto Crest um, is so super intricate. Uh, I totally love that one. I, I really have to, have to say this, this was a crest that I remember when I first saw Porto. This didn't make much sense, but when you look at it, uh, there's so much uh, detail in there. And then, of course, there's a dragon up top as well. So, yeah, uh, we also have quite some details here on the inside of the collar, which are all kind of relating, I guess, to the city of Porto and the crest. I probably should, should have done a little bit more research there. Of course, see the dragon. I think this is a little bit a uh, coat of arms of Portugal. So I know that this part is the coat of arms of Portugal. And I guess this is for, of Porto. So yeah, I mean, uh, it is super detail rich and especially, you know, I do not like soccer balls on the crest. However, if it's an old style, like in the Barcelona crest, I can live with it. And if you look at this one, I guess it's super old style. And then in blue with FCP, uh, it, it's just, I mean, you probably can um, pull it up on Wikipedia if you do, but it's just absolutely uh, an, an amazing crest. On the back, it's blank, of course, sign of the times. We have a fully blank back, um, fully blue back, and then a little bit on the bottom, which is something I really do not like. Uh, we have, of course, a super box sponsor. I think this is a beer. Um, I gotta say, uh, this in German is mildly funny uh, to say Superbock. Um, and then, of course, it has the FC Porto. This is kind of a silicone. This is, of course, a heat transfer. And then we have the sleeve sponsor TMN, which uh, is funny because the sporting shirt here on the, on the back has the exact opposite. The sleeve sponsor is uh, Mio, and the main sponsor is TMN. So yeah, uh, what can I tell you about season? They became champions, of course. They made it out of the group stage in the Champions League. I think behind the group behind PSG. And then they got eliminated in round 16 by Malaga, who almost then eliminated a uh, future finalist Dortmund. Yes, this was this uh, crazy season. So yeah, my first Porto shirt. As I said, I 
you know, the more I have it, the more I appreciate it. Although I have been thinking of getting a second one, you know, get a little bit more variety uh, as well. But I have to have, have, have to say it's a really nice one. I think I'm more looking for a Porto Away jersey where I have a few in mind, but you know, not the highest of priorities for some reason. In any case, I would like to know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.